Hey folks, I've got a workflow walkthrough for you today around gathering lead information, but only the information that is not yet in high level. So if you put into your prompt something like ask the user for their email, the AI is always going to ask the user for their email as long as it's not already in the conversation, even if the contact has already filled out a form and provided their email. And so you already have it in your account. So what I have done is create a bit of a workaround here that we can use a workflow and just a couple changes to make sure the AI gathers that information, but only the information that hasn't been provided yet. And so I'm going to show you what that looks like in the workflow. And then I'm going to show you specifically what the text looks like in there. And then I'll go through step by step how the workflow, uh, how you would make those changes if you want to set something like that up in your account. So over in workflow one, send message to robot. You'll remember that this workflow sends a message over to the robot for processing. Everything is standard in here, apart from I did add in a path where if I said the word reset, it would fire our reset webhook just for my testing purposes. But that's not what I want to show you here. Um, this portion is normal, just looking for the reply channel and updating that accordingly. But then down here, I've added in one if else condition. Um, and so this if else is going to see if the name is empty, if the phone is empty, if the address is empty, if the email is empty. And if any of those are empty, it's actually going to update my prompt. And if none of those are empty, then it's just going to continue with my normal prompt and fire the webhook. And so I'm going to show you what I have in these fields over here in this Google Doc that I'll link below the video. And then I'll come back and show you how to set this up in a workflow and also go over the bot goals that I've set up for this. So the four different fields there, I am doing the same thing in each one. Essentially, I'm taking my already existing OpenAI prompt and I'm adding one sentence before it. So here we can see that if the name is empty, I'm saying, first, you must request the user's name. Do not continue until you have their name and then adding on the rest of my prompt. I've also included the prompt I'm using down here. It's the same sort of HVAC example that I had previously. And uh, what I've done is just add in some more information about gathering the contact information just to reemphasize that. But this may or may not be necessary depending on your use case, depending on your prompt. Um, this is just an example here. But moving up here, uh, you can see that I have this same example for phone number. First, you must request the user's phone number. Do not continue until you have it. Home address. First, you must get the user's home address. Do not continue without the home address. Um, I accidentally have two periods in there. And email. First, you must request the user's email, etc. So you get the idea here that the idea is in putting in an additional instruction, at first instructing the AI to gather that information before adding in the rest of the prompt. The idea here being that if they have name and home address already in there, the AI is only going to get their phone number first, then move on to email, skipping the other two because they are already in existence. And so that's the sort of text that I have in there. Now let me show you what it looks like over in the workflow. So if you want to create this, you are going to input your if else right here. And then you're going to create a branch for each of these fields. So this first one we would call name empty and I would search for contact details and grab their full name or maybe first name and say is empty. So if name is empty, we're going to send them down that path. Uh, you can do the same thing with email empty. And so same thing, search for the field you're looking for and say only if this is empty. And so you would just add as many fields that you want your AI to gather into here and have a branch for each one. And so once you've done that, it might look something like this with two fields or two paths, five paths, however many you're doing. And then for each one, you're going to add a update contact field step. So to do that, just input update contact field, search for open AI prompt, because that is what we're adding to here. And then for the specific field, copy over that name is empty portion. And so obviously, if you're creating your own, say you want to gather their credit score, uh, you, could, you just swap out the word credit score in here, and that's good to go, um, and paste that in. And so this is going to drop in the entirety of our OpenAI prompt, and the rest is going to instruct the AI to gather their name. And so you do that for each of these paths. And then obviously, you need it to continue to the robot webhook. And so for all of the rest of the paths, you'll need to add a go-to step, including the none path, because remember, 
it will only go down any of these if any of these fields are empty. And so if they aren't empty, it's going down the none path. We want to send it to the, our normal robot webhook step, and it goes from there. So that's all that's really necessary from a workflow standpoint is just so setting up this simple if else and having these different paths and just updating the prompt before sending to the webhook. The copy that you can use for those workflows is all in here. You can make any changes to it as you might want. Uh, and then the last thing is for any of these fields, you want to make sure you have a goal set up so your AI is actually updating those fields when the lead provides it. And so you can see in here, uh, I do have a tag goal where I'm adding the tag address once we have the leads address, but that's not important to this situation. Uh, I have a full address goal that is going to update the address anytime the user provides their address. Uh, I do have a time zone, um, though that's not necessary for the example I was just showing. Same thing with the business name, uh, but the name was for that example as well. I don't have phone and email in here because high level will actually update the phone and email if those fields are empty when a lead provides that information. Uh, but you could easily put that goal in there as well. But this setup right here that I was using and the copy I'm giving you here worked well for the test I was running in this sort of HVAC example. So feel free to use that or experiment with different fields, different wording, uh, and use it to gather the information from your contacts and make your lead generation, your intake, your booking process, all the more automatic.